charming disaster, and we are so delighted to be here with you today at the Foundry. Thank you all so much for coming out and joining us here at this experimental socially distanced event. Charming Disaster comes all the way from Brooklyn, New York, and we bring you original songs inspired by the dark, which we realize seems a little implausible on this beautiful day. Well, there are some clouds coming in. Yeah. As we like to say, it could get worse. <laughs> we use the cards of the tarot to guide our set list. Um, and just a quick show of hands, who's familiar with the tarot deck? All right, that's a pretty good proportion. Um, <laughs> tarot deck is a deck of cards, it dates back to the 15th century, used for purposes of divination. And we have linked each of the cards in this deck to one of our songs. And with your help, we will draw cards from the deck, which will determine not only our set list, but also the course of our destiny. Are you ready? All right. All right. To begin, we ask you to just direct your gaze to this black velvet bag, which holds the cards. And just put your focus here for a moment. We are ready. To begin, we're going to need a volunteer to help us draw the first card from a distance. Do we have any, any volunteers? We will pick one of you at random if we don't get a volunteer. So, all right, wonderful. Table number five, would you please pick a number between one and 12? 11. Now the first card we draw tells us about the current situation. So this card will give us a little insight into what exactly is going on here. We have chosen the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords. Now, if you haven't done this before, here's the right thing to do after we draw a card and announce it. You say, ooh. Try it. The Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords. Very That's good. Very good. The Eight of Swords, you, wha you want to tell them what that looks like? Yes, there's a figure hoodwinked, blindfolded, seems tied up in bandages or some other kind of restraint, and there are eight swords behind this figure. It looks pretty fearsome.
dream Is there somebody calling my name Wandering free in a dream of a dream Is there somebody calling my name Wandering free in a dream of a dream Is there somebody So that's the current situation. Um, we want to welcome not only all of you who are here with us on the physical plane, but also all of you out there in the ether joining us through the magic of live stream technology. We feel your presence and we thank you for joining us in this way. Also, a special shout out to the Society of the Mysterious Hand. You know who you are. Now we need another volunteer. Another volunteer. Choose the next card. The next card tells us about what crosses us, what stands in our way. Very good. Yes. Table oh. number seven. Table number <laughs> seven. Pick a number between one and eleven, please. One, two, three. We have chosen the hierophant. Ooh. All right, we're good. We're yeah, nobody there. knows what a hierophant is, so they're just not sure how to feel about it. It's all right. It's like a like a pope sort of figure, like a priest. The head of a religious, religious system yes. or order. That is you. Go out on the marshes, pick the pieces up. They chopped him into little bits I gathered. Anoint yourself with myrrh and walking through serrated grasses. Close the gap that's come between us. Lord of love, dead man, resurrection, twin sister, Cry nicest. Better call the priestess, crack the seat of chest, hook out his heart and wrap him in white linen. Tackle head the priestess, break the bandages, the queen is weeping tears into the river. Lord of love, dead man, resurrection. Oh. 
would like to draw the next card through your your mental machinery? Ah, yes. You, madam, please select a number between one and ten. And we should tell you that this next card tells us about what crowns us, what our higher aspirations are, what do we reach towards. One and ten. Number five. Number five. What? Oh, wow. What's his name? What? Todd. Todd. Todd, Todd this is for this you. This song goes out to you. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, the Four of Pentacles. Thank you. Yes, that's right. That's right. The Four of Pentacles. What does that one look like? There's a gnomish looking figure with some standing on some pentacles, one on his head and one in his hands, clutching like a like a miser like hoarding his gold exactly coins. Exactly right. <laughs> Todd. Sorry, Todd. Gently swaying eyes inside the deep dark hole. If you dare to take what's mine, I will reach your soul. Fit this mountain in your spoon. Feel the hot embrace. All the fairy tales. Hold this for sure. me for a second. It's sort of attached, and I, attached. I fear I'm gonna put water all over myself if I attempt this. It's not this kind of show. It's not a pour water over yourself kind of show. We'll see. It's pretty warm. 
All right, so the next card we did higher aspirations. And as above, so below. So the next card tells us not about our higher purpose, but our baser instincts. Who would like to draw this card? You, sir, you, in the front sir, row. Who I've never seen before. We have definitely never met this man. From one to nine. Pick a number from one to nine. Seven. Seven. We have drawn the King of Wands. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa is perfectly right. Your spoon was in the boiling Your thumb was on the scale Don't try to meet the witness That won't get you anywhere Sit still and try to listen
next card will take us back in time to the recent past. Who would like to tell us about the recent past? Yes. In the number, number six. six. Number six for the recent One. past. Ooh, strange. We have chosen the Seven of Cups. Ooh, Ooh, the Seven of Cups. In which there's a cloud of magical vapors and seven cups appearing out of the aether. And it's a mystery. It's a mystery. Some kind of summoning, it seems. It's the recent past. You probably, probably rings you a bell. You all remember that. You remember. You all can keep your convent, that life don't suit me well. This is my finest moment, here's another story you can tell. When I was just a baby, an orphan with no home, the spirits came to save me, taught me how to manage on my own. How many arms and legs has she? Keep a close eye on her hands and feet. You might be a little pinch or two, is it just us in the dark? Solves a mystery of this little girl from Napoli. Books and diplomas will do you no good. Class is getting started in the dark and from the recent past all the way to the immediate future. Who would like to draw? Who dares, Who dares tell indeed. us how to draw the immediate future card? You, sir, what number would you like for four. the number four? Here's the thing four. about the immediate future. It will not help you, this information. The immediate future is very soon, so it's probably already too late, but we might as well find out what is about to hit us. We have chosen the King of Cups. <laughs> Should we tell them anything about this one? I feel like we ought to. The King of Cups? It's yeah. a stately figure <laughs> sitting on a throne surrounded by water with this beautiful fanned out back splash that he's sitting against. Yeah. Do you want to you want to talk about I kind of want to talk about it a little bit. Cuz ah. here's the thing, you might know us as like occult inspired musicians, but did you know that we really identify mainly as scientists? Natural scientists, like amateur yeah. natural scientists. Not just supernatural scientists, just natural. natural we natural have scientists. a strong interest in in things of the natural world, including such subjects as marine biology. And um, this song is uh, an, an educational, instructional kind of song about a topic that we hope interests you as much as it interests ourselves. Mm -hmm. 
Here are some amazing things about manta rays. They resemble magical flying carpets or mysterious capes. Some call them devil fish or eagle rays. Is that another name for them though or just one kind? I'm not sure. They are migratory. Over the ocean. What do they eat? They exhibit a dark intelligence. They're saltwater dwelling. They can grow up to seven meters wide. That's 23 feet. No. Do they have eye stalks or antennae? Not eye stalks, but cephalic lobes. Are their mouths on bottom like a vacuum? No. Do they sleep? We're not sure. Sting bar. They cannot swim backwards. They are cousins to sharks and skates. They're kind of hard to talk to. Two words. Live, Live pups. pups. Are they immortal? We're not sure. Manta rays. We don't know why they do the things they do. Do the things they do. do. The things they do. But one day. I would like to ride I would one like two. to ride one too I would like to ride one too I would like to ride one too I would like to ride one too Well that's the immediate future so that seems kind of good actually that's Pretty exciting Yeah I can't wait to finally ride one of those things I would like to ride one too. We have one, two, three, four, five, six cards to choose from. Now we have just yes, madam. Do you have a question or a concern? The number six. Very good. Now we have just arrived at the the. It's it's a little past the halfway point. We're doing something called the Celtic cross spread, which is a traditional ten card arrangement uh, of tarot cards. Oh, please point it out. The Celtic cross. Now, part one of the Celtic cross is called the cross, which takes its name from the cross shape you see on the board right there. And part two is called the staff, which will be four more cards going up the right-hand side of the board. Before we get to the staff, a quick public service announcement, if I may. If you enjoy the music that you're hearing here tonight, good news. We have music for sale at the merch table right over there. In addition to CDs and vinyl records, we also have t-shirts, bandanas, which you saw us wearing just before, stickers, sheet music for guitar and ukulele, and uh, some other exciting items. So um, please, we encourage you to take a look at the merch table, take a little charming disaster home with you. You can actually shop right from your table using the QR code you see there from your phone, or you can use a contactless, totally sanitary, procedure with us at the table and those of you in the ether you can always go to charmingdisaster.com slash shop to find our band camp music and merchandise that pretty much concludes mm -hmm. the PSA which brings us to the staff and if I recall correctly that was number six number six number six oh and you're probably wondering what this card means and the answer is this is where we are heading if we do not change course so you know, your miles may vary, as the kids say, but uh, this, maybe you should just, you know, stay the course, but maybe this is time to reassess your decisions up until now. We are about to find out. Are we ready now? The star. We have chosen the star. The star. Good people of the world. Well we chosen. chosen. Phosphorescent lilies on the surface of the water. 
water forming floating constellations round the caravan Egyptians rule the marshlands they can read them like the lines that trace the future in the creases of your palm I and I let us go but we'll be royalty the queen adopts her prisoners into the ancient clan if we submit to their initiation rites and we survive they'll make us part of all their secret plans they say Now the next card that we ask one of you to draw is called the friends and family card. It's the card that tells us about the people around us in our homes, in our communities, in our social networks, out in the ether. Um, and we feel very fortunate to have among our friends and family 
a lot of you here tonight, today, and um, and our new friends here at the Foundry. Please give a hand uh, to the Foundry, to um, to Amy and Molly and Joe and Noah and um, all the folks here. We love this place. We can't wait to come back in the future and play in the Black Box Theater when uh, social distancing is no longer necessary. But in the meantime, we hope that all of you who are here physically will come back and keep on supporting what they're doing here because this is lovely and ought to continue forever. All right, now we're going to need a volunteer. You know what to do. Who is going to tell us about the friends and family card? We All you need to do is say a number mm -hmm. between one mm -hmm. and what's the top? One and five. One and five. One and five. We will, we will select one of you if you do not select yourself. Oh, oh. Oh, yes. Yeah. One, we have chosen the High Priestess. Very good. Black snake and my donkey keep the predators at bay. The coyotes and the copperheads stay well enough away. The power that protects me is a circle made of salt. But when you come to get me, I won't feel a thing at all. The vultures that surround me ride the thermals up on high. Yeah, ever since you found me, I'm afraid that I might die. Scarab on my pillow whispers vespers as I sleep. You saved me from the sparrows, now my soul is yours to keep. Come morning we awaken to a garnet colored sky. The mirror cracked and broken, making X's of my eyes. I can't turn away the darkness over. Instead, I hold you tight. Yeah, ever, ever since, since you found me, I'm afraid that, that I might die.
on the highway there's a shimmer in the air out on the horizon there's a figure standing there strange hallucinations as the sky is growing thin from the corners of my vision see the shadows closing in is it just sleep deprivation or the ergot on the ride yeah, ever since you found me i'm afraid that i might die Ever since you found me, I'm afraid that I might die. Ever since you found me, I'm afraid that I might die. Ever since you found me, I'm afraid that I might die. Only two cards remain, and this, the penultimate card, is the hopes and fears card. Hopes and fears, we think of them as opposites, but sometimes they are one and the same. Mm. So what is the thing, I wonder, that we long for the most, or perhaps dread the most, or perhaps a little bit of both? Who would like to, t to pick this number? I long for a volunteer. I dread a volunteer. You see, it's the same. Yes, Wonderful. you. Wonderful. Uh, one through four. Three. Three. Ah. We have chosen the hermit card. Hopes and fears. Ooh. Ooh. I don't remember the heat or the smell of fuel or being afraid just the thrill of living through it like letting a tiger lick my bared white throat after that i was hooked i learned how to extinguish the flame and keep it lit inside me made my body welcome the play of the torch across my skin i opened and let it in i opened and let it in Opened and let it in, opened and let it in. Nothing I'd ever tried before could satisfy my insatiable desire for more. My heart nearly stopped, the ambulance sang my name more times than once. I need a dangerous rush, adrenaline, to light me up that fight or flight. All dancing in my blood and on my tongue like medicine. I opened and let it in, I opened and let it in, I opened and let it in, opened and let it in. Burn away clean, flicker and breathe, the light and the heat.
One card remains on the board to be chosen. And once again, we are Charming Disaster from Brooklyn. And it's been such a pleasure to play for you here on this beautiful afternoon. To play in front of live people is a rare treat these days. And it's uh, before this weekend shows at the Foundry, uh, we hadn't played a live show for people since February. So it's, it's really nice to actually see other humans in front of us so but true. we love the robots and we love the disembodied spirits as well like no shade on the rest of yes. you yes you don't want to get them mad yeah. that's for sure um and if you're watching from a distance this is a donation based live stream um you can donate via venmo or paypal um at either of the foundries uh donation links which will go up on screen after the show um and we we do encourage you to give lavishly if you can now, the last card is called the conclusion card for obvious reasons, um, but it doesn't just tell us that the spread is over. It also sheds light on all that has come before. So who would like no pressure to tell us what it all meant? Anyone? Would anybody like to draw? Oh, oh Noah. Noah. Three. And you can choose any one of them. Three. Three. Oh, number Third card. Ah, oh, we have chosen the world card. The world. The See, world card. it all makes sense. We told you it would. We knew it would.
And there you have it. A perfectly comprehensible tarot reading. Once again, thank you so, so much. We are Charming Disaster, and it has been such a great pleasure playing for you this afternoon. <laughs> we hope to see you again in the not-too-distant future. We love you. Did you want one more? <laughs> All right, then you have to pick a number between one and two. <laughs> two. 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 Two, okay. Two. Aha. Uh -huh. We have chosen the Seven of Swords. Which depicts? A figure stealing off with five of seven swords. Sneakily away. Yeah, a real shifty expression. <coughs> My mama always said you can't cheat an honest man. Can't con it's a con. It's not a lie, my love, if they believe you. It's not a lie, it could so be true. So tell them anything, dear. Tell them what them they want to hear. And, and take them for what they've got before, before they leave you. Well, I used to be a gambler, but the odds were never good. Not in my favor. My lucky favor. stars were never my best feature. I rely upon So my I charm. cut it out with cards. And dice I was and betting much and throwing I was born to live a life of leisure. Let's take the sleepy town by storm, and when the sheep have all been shorn, we'll be gone just like the gentle breeze of yesterday. With your skills and my good looks, those fish will be begging for the hook, reeled in by our seductive serenade. The Bible says God's creatures all look out for number one. It's human nature. The golden rule has been my bread and butter. What you do to you Double cross me, Slip but I'm dagger in this the horse. If the con is long enough, it doesn't matter. Let's take this sleepy town by storm, and when the sheep have all been shorn, we'll be gone just like the gentle breeze of yesterday. With your skills and my good looks, those fish will be begging for the hook, reeled in by our seductive serenade. Well, I go by many names, dear, and some call me a saint. Master to others, I'm the closest of their friends. Keep my enemies When they much ask me about my living, exactly I what give them no misgivings. Because what I trade in is their confidence. Since we met, I don't know if I've fallen for you, baby. Or if you've set me up to take the fall. Love is just another con. A fairy tale to lead them on. But together, baby, maybe we could love them all. Let's take the sleepy town by storm. And when the sheep have all been shorn, we'll be gone just like the gentle breeze of yesterday. With your skills and my good looks, those fish will be begging for the hook, reeled in by our seductive serenade. Let's take this sleepy town by storm, and when the sheep have all been shorn, we'll be gone just like the gentle breeze of yesterday. With your skills and my good looks, those fish will be begging for the hook, reeled in by our seductive serenade. Reeled in by our
Thank you so much. We are Charming Disaster. We'll see you next time. everyone for coming on a Sunday afternoon and supporting these incredible artists. We were thrilled to have them here all weekend. They're amazing. It was so fun just to even be near them was fun. <laughs> um, so if and thank you for everyone who is watching the live stream. Please donate. They deserve it. We want to stay here for you. Check us out at thefoundrywf.com for future programming and live streaming. And have a great rest of your day. Thank you.